Hello everybody and welcome back to another Talascraft version 2 update video. And today I will show you a few changes and extras that I added in game. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. <coughs> yeah, so first of all, um, I managed the Daleks to work so they can probably shoot right now. So I can show you that. Hey Daleks, um, I know it was a long time, but do you want to shoot me again? Huh? Yep, they will, and you see, they will shoot you in your face. Sorry for this bad video, video resolution. I don't know what's wrong with the streaming program and recording program, but I didn't manage to fix it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the first new thing is the TARDIS DMAT. So every single exterior has now its own DMAT animation. And you can see it. It's like switching textures from stone to glass to stone to glass. So it has this sort of blinking animation. And that looked weird. <laughs> yeah. And when it's gone we can record it. No, that's still the DMAT. There we go. Call it back. And there it is. Nice one. Yeah, and um, let's enter it because I did manage to make a new exterior that's coming before that one, so. We need to select, well, skip for a few exteriors. I also changed one a little bit, that's the trunk one. There we go, because this one, I hope it works, when you let it dematerialize, you can travel with it. So, we activate it, and it has the swing, when it has the swing you can stand near it and you will get sucked into the middle. You can't move and that means you get teleported into the vortex. And we're here right now. So yeah, you nearly can barely can see anything. But we are in the vortex, the thing is spinning around us. And yeah. Uh, now you may ask, how can we get out of here? <laughs> well, Normally a pilot is piloting the TARDIS and he will land then, but if no one is there you need to do it with the Sonic screwdriver. So you need to back a little bit, look at the TARDIS and when it spins with you, you will be teleported to the next position and the TARDIS will appear and releases you. And like that, you can travel with the TARDIS through time and space. <laughs> it's just possible with that one. Okay, then one thing I added is... Uh, a few other things I added. I think it is this corridor. Nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> oh yeah, you can see it here. Um, I changed the phone box to models now, because they are less buggy and way more FPS friendlier <laughs> but yeah okay let's check out nope not this corridor God damn it that one here for example to our right at the little hole is building a wonderful uh, library I won't spoil won't spoil t uh, you too much and at the left we have the new zero room but how this is working, I will show you later, because now it's not important. We have this weird looking door right here, and when we get closer, it will open. It will just open for Time Lords, so if you're not a Time Lord, you can't get through. Yeah, and then we have the Untempered Schism this time. <laughs> I like it. And how it's working, when you have under 12 feet generations, it will activate itself with the particles. And when you look 60 seconds in it, it will get you one 
grant you one regeneration. No, not grant. It will give you one regeneration. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> okay, but yeah. The next thing here is a room. I don't know why I built it. I was just very bored. <laughs> is that one? You can name it as you want. I thought it is like you have uh, some sort of infection in the in the roof and the infection is like sucking energy out of the TARDIS to itself. But yeah, I don't know. Okay, then I will show you two new mobs that are finished now. Um, one of them you already know from the old version and that's the Cyberman. So if we stand near the TARDIS and we will drop two rotten flesh on the ground like so. We have a Cyberman here now. Hello Cyberman. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> Still have the problem with that one. And as you know it will shoot you like the old one. Yeah. Nice Cyberman. Okay, and then we have one new mob. Uh, I think. Okay, I still have it in my inventory. Let's get a little common block here. It's pretty new. Like. Uh, yeah, it's like a couple of seconds old. So let's spawn a Vex here. It is the Toclophane. The things that the master has made in Utopia. Mm -hmm. When we spawn a new normal, oh. we spawn a normal one. It, why do they have swords? That's interesting. Yeah, they're flying around here. We can make a little bit more of them. You can see it will be very annoying. And with that, I can show you. The new regenerations that I added. Oh god damn it. Oh that's looking bad. Ah Oh yeah, because I had to take inside I got teleported to the TARDIS. God damn it. And yeah. So after you regenerate it, uh, it could be like when you're still inside the TARDIS, you get teleported out because changed. But yeah, um, when you regenerate it, you get a few effects like resistance, regeneration and everything. And oh, I have the good trait. Nice. Yeah, when you regenerate it, you can get new traits like you need something that changes in your life. So I made that one too, like cheap. So I've got strength, strange, strength, four, and water breathing F for the whole time I live. <laughs> yeah, water breathing is the best one, so we can be lucky that we get it. And you have slowness three. And to get rid of these bad effects, you need to go to zero. And because the tiles is locked, we can't get inside. Oh, God damn it, go in here. <laughs> Okay, so let's check out, I think it was up here, right? Nope. Uh, and it was here. Yeah. So now we go into the zero room, which will heal our bad effects that we have, like slowness. Da, 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 da. Let's heal us up. And yeah. That's how it works. So you have a few uh, animations in here and then the bad effects will be gone. You still get nausea and weakness for a couple of seconds because they're uh, like after effects. So you get so much many good effects that you need to have bad effects. <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense, but I tried. Okay, then let's go out. And after a few seconds, we will lose the other bad effects like nausea and weakness will at least a little bit longer. But yeah, um, good. So 
that's the thing for the regenerations. Um, then, 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 show you that one, that one. Ah, yeah, uh, we have uh, also a new model for the Weeping Angel. So let's get outside and I will show you them. Ah, oh, yeah, damn it. The new Weeping Angel model you can see right here. It has now 3D wings and I try to make it look like it's covering its eyes, but yeah, you will see why. So let's summon a um, Weeping Angel. There it is. And you see when you look away, it will change its model. <laughs> it's so weird. Whoop. 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 Oh, oh wow. Look at that, Iron Golem vs. Sweeping Angel. <laughs> it's looking weird. If I now look away, the Sweeping Angel will get smacked out of existence. Oh, what? <laughs> Sweeping Angels all against the world. But yeah. It's still the same if it catches you. What the fuck? It will teleport you away randomly. Oh, I'm done here. Okay, that's not too far away. Okay, and then we have one new thing also inside of the TARDIS. I can show you when I find it then. There we go. And yeah. What happens now if I turn the power off? It's getting very dark. Whoa. And I can barely see anything. <laughs> it's scary. Imagine a whipping angel will appear in front of you like that. It's a mix out of darkness and of blindness. Oh, that mix that is Mmm. That's very good to scare anyone. Because now I don't know where the ba fucking bell is. Where is it? I need to turn the power back on. What, what was it here? No. <laughs> I can't see anything. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, thank you. I can't see you again. Well, don't turn the power off. And with that, I will say... Thank you for watching and you will see us in the next video. Goodbye, you're at Gamer.